And who are you? My name is Andrew. I'm CTO of Grimo Body Tap. And uh, what, is, what is she wearing? She's wearing a pair of smart shorts. Smart shorts? Yes. So this is the first smart shorts capris. in the world. These are actually the first smart capris in the world. The first smart? Smart capris. Okay. These are the smart shorts. These are the smart capris. Basically what we have is a sensor in the back. It's connecting to this app. And what it does is it tracks and analyzes her running form in real time. And so right now you can actually see her running form, the bounce values, the cadence, the braking, and her pelvis stability. All of this stuff tracks every single step. So a lot of step, a lot of these fitness trackers, they just count steps. We look at what you're doing every single step. You know, what are the forces associated with it? So you have flexible electronics going on here? We have what is this? conductive fibers, that's correct. So we also have, so the main module is not flexible. It has all okay. the sensors. There is conductive fibers. There's a fibers. module right here, can you, sh yeah. This so is the module. The module has like a, a Nordic semiconductor arm Cortex M0? Yes, or? That it does. It's not an M0, it's an M4. M4? Yes. And it connects seamlessly to the garment. There's conductive threads and there's a button right here. Conductive threads? Yes, and like, there's a button. They can measure uh, stretch, to, oh, what do they measure? It, the, the threads allow us to communicate with the application. And so the, it's more of a communication conduit for the button. How about the, the sensor, what does it do? The sensor, it tracks uh, a number of different metrics for running biomechanics. So we track the amount of bounce in every step in millimeters. It tracks your cadence, your number of steps per minute. It tracks your braking, so the amount of forces that is that is exerted back on your body as, as you step through, and also your pelvis stability. So it looks at the pelvis and how it wobbles. It looks at um, the tilt and then also the pelvic drop. Is it like accelerometer? Accelerometer, gyro, magnetometer, and altimeter. Cool, and how soon is available? Q2 this year. Q2, how much for the smart pants? 149 for the pants as well as the module and the app. How long is the battery life for the smart pants? It's gonna be about a month on a single charge. One month? Yeah, about a and, month. And uh, where's the battery? It's embedded in here. In the module? Yeah, it's in the module itself. That's fantastic, so uh, what's your background? How do you able to do this? We're a bunch of, we're a technology company, technology startup in the Bay Area, in San Francisco Bay Area. Um, so you're a startup? We're a startup, yes. How do you get the money? We got funding from venture capital. And uh, so you're going to launch worldwide? How does it work? Yes, we already have a product that was launched worldwide called Lumo Lift. It was a posture and activity tracker that was on the upper body that you, if you slouch it will vibrate remind you to be in good posture. That was our first worldwide product. This was it successful? Yeah, we're still producing it and we're still selling it everywhere. So how big is the demand for this? Are you, are you crowdfunding it or? Yeah, we, we did a, a pre-order campaign um, end of last year. We got a lot of great feedback, a lot of great reception, and we're continuing to build the product now. We're going to be putting it into the mass market, hopefully in the next couple months. Are there any other smart pants in the market? Not that we know of, not that there's something like this. Cool, so there yeah. it is, uh, smart shorts. Smart yeah. shorts. Is it is it mainly uh, for piece. workout, or should you just wear it all the time? Hey, a lot of our beta testers are wearing it all the time because they're just so comfortable. And they just wear it all the time, yeah, and it wear it, all the time. it um, gives it relevant information. Not yet. So we'll, the whole entire platform will be able to do running, cycling, golfing, all these things. Right now we're focusing on running because we have to do the correct algorithms for running first. And what can but, you do in the future? We can do golfing. We can do How about a new hardware? Uh, what are you thinking about? Oh, the new hardware? Yeah, we're improving the smart fence. It's going to be even more seamless. It's going to be even, even smaller, even thinner, um, even lighter. It's totally awesome. So I hope you're going to beat uh, Apple yeah. in the smart closing Absolutely. and do a big success. Thanks so much. Pleasure.